Hey, it's Duke at Developer Inspirers here. Welcome back to Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge is my effort to share what I challenge myself to learn every day with you. Every week, I send out at least 7 new iOS tutorials and courses via email. All you need to do is to subscribe at developerinspirers.io. Alright, in this daily challenge, I want to share with you how to draw sh shadow to custom shapes using core graphics. So let's get right into it. Now, this is the project will look like. We will draw two shapes, two rectangles in this project. One will have the shadow, the other doesn't. It, it looks very simple, but the code may overwhelm you at first. Okay, because it's just the way that core graphic works. So let's get right into it. I will open up Xcode and create a new project. And for this, I will call it um, Draw Shadows. Okay, I will place it into my desktop like that. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a subclass of UI view because in this project we will custom draw two rectangles and it's um it's shit it's shadow right so I'll go over file new file and then I will create the subclass of UI view the class I will call it custom shape custom shapes like that and place it right here okay and let's go back to main storyboard and assign the root view of this to be the custom shapes. Um, normally you wouldn't do this, but just because of this um, starter project, we just want to see the shapes that we draw in this view. So it doesn't hurt that much. Okay, so let's go to the custom shapes and maybe I will um, uncomment the draw right because the draw right is the, the, the place, the method that we will draw we'll put the custom drawing code in there okay and maybe i will increase the size of the font like that all right so i will the first thing i'm going to i will create a um, a method that will draw the right okay so i will write font draw right at draw right one okay so let's create uh, in core graphics, if you want to draw something, um, you in UI graphics, you you want to draw something. The first thing you need to do is you will need the current context of the view. So what we do? Let current context equals UI graphics get current context. So we have the current context, and we will draw our stuff in this current context. Next, I will have I will save this current context so I would do CG now maybe I will have an offset for this con uh, for the right that I'm going to draw so we do let offset equals CG size make and for this I would do 10 and 10 okay the next thing I'm going to do, I will set the shadow color of this so we do CG context set shadow color shadow color and then here I will need to provide three parameters. The first one is the context. So we go to current context. The second one is the offset. And this is the offset of the shadow. So we do offset. And the blur, we will do um, maybe 10. And the color is, we will do gray color. UI color dot gray color dot CG color. Because this one is CG color, not just U, not UI color, okay. And we will create a path, and this is just the path handle. So it will be let path equals CG path create mutable, and then you see that this is will create a mutable graphics path, and we will use this path to draw things on. The next thing is I will create the uh, rectangle so we do let rect equals this is a CG, CG rect and we will use the initializer x y width and height the x is 55 y 16 width is 150 and height 150 so we'll do a, uh, a square basically next we'll have a path we will add this path to the right 
So we do CG path at right. So I have the path, which is this path. And then this one, you will need to provide a pointer to a transformation. And maybe right now we don't talk about that. We will talk about that in the next daily challenge, in which I will tell you how to transform a view, meaning that you, let's say you want to squeeze it, you want to resize the view into half the size, let's say, or you increase the size of the view, or you want to rotate the size of the view, that transformation is very common, very popular when you want to uh, animate things in UI view. So right now we will do nil, and the right, I will do um, the, the, uh, the right, like that. All right. So next we want to add this path into the context. So we do CG context add path. And for this, we will do context, current context, and then the path, okay? So the next thing we want to do is we will set the color, the fill color of this um, circle, or I'm sorry, the this square. So we do UI color, red, green, blue, and alpha. Red, I would choose 0 0.20, green is 60, blue is 80.80, .80. Alpha is 1.0, and we will have to call set fill. Okay, so don't forget to call dot set fill. That will fill the color of this square. Okay, next thing we will draw, we will fill this path. CG context, context draw path, and this could be current context, and this is KCG path fill because. We want to fill this, and then we will do. Uh, and believe it or not, that's it. Next thing we will need to call this method inside draw right, and just like that. Now let's run this. You will see that in here we we use the core graphics to draw things, but you can use UI Bezier path and layers. Maybe we will talk about that later. Okay. So this is our square and you see that we have this very nice shadow, right? It's because the blur, I use 10, maybe you can use one. This offset, maybe you can use two, or zero and two like that. Okay, and you see that the shadow, you can change these offsets, you can change the blur, you can change the offsets and even the color. So in your next time, I want you to challenge yourself in your projects. If you see the the way that Google does its prom, their shadow in their project, if you use the Google app or the Inbox app, the very nice button that they do apply the drop shadow into that. So maybe you want to uh, apply some of those, okay? So just want to, to be clear that you can do this, okay? So the next thing we want to talk about is, let's say I want to draw another rectangle. And maybe for this rectangle, we don't want to have the shadow. And you will see that there is something we will want to talk about in about this context thing in core graphics, okay? So let's write another function called func, and we want to draw rect without shadow. So I will go very fast for this next. The first thing I'm going to do is I will have a current context and this is CG um, get cut current context. UI graphics, graphics get current context. So we have the current context. Then we'll have a path, right? CG path, create mutable. And then next we will have a right, which is the boundaries for this um, rectangle we are going to create CG rect x is 150 y 250 width is 100 height 100 all right so we will add this path we will add this rect into the path CG path add rect we we'll have to specify the path the transform which is nil right now the rect is rect okay all right, next we will do UI color, maybe this one, purple color, dot set fill. 
and then we will draw the path cg context draw path current context and then we will set that cg path fill okay so let's draw this um don't forget to call this in draw right draw right without shadow It doesn't show up, so let's find out why it doesn't show up. So we have that, and I forgot to add this path. I add the add the right to the path. I forgot to add the path to the current context. So we do cg context add path, and this I have to spell out, specify the current context, and the path is path, and then this should do it. Okay, but you see that our square here does have the shadow. We don't want to have the shadow. And indeed, this the first one has the shadow and we have to do the CG context set shadow color things. But in this, it, we still have the shadow. Why is it? Well, it's, it's because we still use the same current context. And for this current context, we set the shadow. So if you want this one doesn't have the shadow, we have to save first, we have to save the context, and then we have to restore the, the context. So I will do these two. It sounds complicated, but it's just two lines of code. So we'll do uh, over here, the draw right one. I will do CG context save um, GS state. And then this, I will do current context. And right down below when we um, we done with the drawing things. We will do CG context restore CG restore GS state, right? And then this is current context. And then I run. All right, and you see that this one doesn't have the shadow. I hope that you have been enjoying this tutorial. Leave me a comment or question below and I will be reviewing comments and answering questions personally. If you want free iOS courses, visit me at developerinspirus.io. Create an account and join our free courses. Until next time, go out there, learn new things, create new products, and contribute to the world.